What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Did you ever think we'd be back in these robes again? I, I, I don't know. What do we do next? I can't remember. Do you nerd? Nerdlings. What'd you say? Nerdlings. Oh, yes. Hey, nerdlings. <laughs> Welcome back, nerdlings. I am Tom. I'm Lady Lacey. This is Do You Nerd, the variety channel, where we showcase all the things that we love, including Wizarding World stuff, if we get it. She's mad, guys. So we got a box, again. Don't remember how long it's been since the last <laughs> one. Um, I am, in fact, an entire year behind oh. on Wizarding World. They owe me oh. six boxes. Well, I guess now, wow. technically, five boxes. I'm a little miffed at them right now, just a little bit. Um, I actually have suspended my service until they get caught up because I'm done with them taking my money and not giving me anything for an entire year. You are such a Wizarding World fan that I took that in mind whenever I proposed, because where was that? At Ollivander's Wand Show. Oh, yeah. If they can ever get their act back together and boxes come out at a regular pace, I am more than willing to re-up my service and continue on with it. It's supposed to be stuff that's exclusive to them or to the Wizarding World in Orlando, Florida, or I, I believe now in California too, or London, <laughs> basically. <laughs> they used to always put a card in there with a theme. Uh, the last two boxes I've gotten, including this one, has no card in it, so I have no idea if there's anything missing from the box. You are to tell them what your house is, and mm -hmm. if there is anything house related, it is supposed to be your house colors or your house related. You Let's see what's inside. I'm assuming it's Christmas because the sticker on the outside like looks like a Christmas wreath. Well, at least there's a holiday sticker. <laughs> and they got it around the holidays. So the first thing in the box is our favorite. Stationary. Stationary notebook. And it is actually kind of a pretty notebook. It's got gold emboss on it with the sorting hat on it. This is always kind of a... It feels like a, a cast off thing. Like I didn't really know what else to put in there. So here you go, here's another notebook. We actually put stationery to pretty good use. We use multiple ones as mm -hmm. uh, guest books. We got one at the house. We have a travel one whenever we go to conventions, yes. stuff like that. Uh, we also, whenever there's like certain video series that we're working on, we may use it as a, a list thing. So yeah. we do find uses for them, but it is ultimately still stationary. I will say in retrospect, I do wish that I knew how to draw because I feel like if I could draw all these stationary books that I get in all these mystery boxes would be so useful because then I could just, you know, use them as sketchbooks. That, that would be very Or cool, if yeah. I was a writer, I could use them to write my stories down. What are you looking at me for? I don't know. Why am I looking at you? What else is in the box? <laughs> magnets. I couldn't tell if they were patches or magnets. Hogwarts House Relic Magnets. We have got Godric Gryffindor's sword. We have a Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. We have Salazar Slytherin's locket. And then we have Helga Hufflepuff's cup. My cup. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, yeah, hey, we, whenever we get stickers, we turn them into magnets. So, so I mean, we're all about that magnet. That so. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Nice. It works. I prefer Magneto. So the button this time is the sorting hat. Oh, that's pretty cool so looking too. we don't too. even have to guess because before they've been, they've lately been doing buildings from Hogsmeade or Diagon Alley. So this time we've just got the sorting hat. Well, that's a pretty cool looking it is thing a nice too. Thing. Yeah. Uh, very well detailed and everything. So nice. Got something big. Okay. Oh, it's a bottle. At first I thought it was an umbrella. <laughs> so it looks like we have a nice little plastic water bottle that has all of the house crest on it. The It's a Hogwarts crest, with, but it's done a little differently, more realistic. Yeah, that's, that's actually that's pretty different. neat looking. I've never seen it done that way before. That's really cool. Normally it's just, you know, the silhouette of all the animals on there, but this is really cool. I kind of like that. So you've got like a nerdy item, but it's also a functional item. So we always like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely cool. love functional items. Fill her up, Joe. All right, so it looks like we have a tote bag. Oh, a new bag for the bag I lady. Love bags. <laughs> so like I said, things are your house themed, which I am Hufflepuff. So you've got a yellow strap, 
and it's like a burlap with that more realistic house crest on it with the badger and it says Hufflepuff and you got some flowers, some yellow themed flowers on there. Really nice size bag too, actually. Yeah, good size, looks like a good quality bag. And that print, this is really toned down. So that's really nice. I would say my only complaint about it is the straps are a little short. For a bag this trying size, to get over your shoulder. I would prefer the straps to be just a little longer yeah. so it's a little easier to put on your shoulder. Good point. Um, Good point. But other than that, I like it. Good bag. Nice. This sort of thing is my bag, baby. The last thing in the bag, we have a shirt. Honestly, I would really like to have had a card this time because this looks very stylized and like maybe from a certain artist or something. And I would like to know who it is because it's really neat because the wreath on here has all of the items from the four houses plus the sorting hat and then the f various flowers from the thing. And then you've got Hogwarts right in the middle. And then it says Hogwarts at the bottom. Would you like to try it on? Well, let's do it. Right, well, guys, I'm uh, just gonna take you guys with me to run some errands. You don't mind, right? All right. This, this isn't weird at all, is it? <laughs> Good, you're awake, we made it. Hey, don't act so weird about it. If I had a nickel every time I ended up somewhere else with a burlap bag being pulled off of my head. Anyway, <laughs> so your lovely shirt. Yeah, I really do like that print. That is yeah. very, very nice. It's a thick print on the front of it. So it's a thick screen overlay. Um, it feels like just a very stock, generic fab cotton fabric, so it's not like super soft or super scratchy or whatever. Yeah, so. it does look like kind of a generic shirt yeah. material. And um, yeah, the larger print, that's something that we always worry about because those larger prints have a tendency to kind of crack after a few wears yeah. and washes. Uh, and you know, they might start to peel. But I suppose if you only brought this out during the holidays or something, <laughs> you could you know, make it last a little longer. Yep. All right. Sometimes they put a little something extra inside the box. Just the sorting hat. All right, well, we got the hand. All right. That thing's probably so full of lice after so many years of kids' heads. Anyway. <laughs> Lovely thought. <laughs> what do you think of at least the items in this one? How, how do they do with that? Honestly, fairly good items. I'm guessing the, the theme this time was Hogwarts. Hogwarts houses, maybe, because everything was some kind of house it was, sorting hat, yeah. houses. So I really like it. Of course, I'm a bag lady, so I love the bag. Uh, magnets are always useful and helpful. Water bottles useful and helpful. I'm going to guess that with how we started the video, you're probably not exactly encouraging people to run out and try this service, at least not until and if. Keep an eye on it. There we go. That's that's Keep a, an eye a on, nice on way to look service. at it. Loot Crate is the one who powers the Wizarding World Crate. I don't know how the other branches of it are because there's Loot Crate and then there's lots of offshoots. I have no idea if they're having this problem across the board. So I would maybe get with people that you find online who have the other services from Loot Crate and see if they're having as much of an issue with it. <laughs> so it's not Wizarding World themselves, it's Loot Crate, by the way. Nerdlings at this point, please leave some comments down below on what you think of this. Uh, how you feel about Poor Lady Lacey being uh, led along. Maybe they'll get their act together and we'll start seeing some more boxes soon. What did you especially think of the art this time around? Because very, very cool art. And if for any reason anybody happens to know the name of the artist, please let us know that too. Hit the notification bell, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see if she ever gets the rest of her lost Harry Potter, Hogwarts, Wizarding World, boxes and an owl for them <laughs> <laughs> send a big owl because he's got a lot of boxes to carry don't forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram and tiktok go over to the retro refresh because we have a lovely website over there hit us up on t public because we've also got some really cool merchandise on there from our own special artists and if we like it nerdlings we nerd it so long as they fulfill their end of the bargain and actually send the things that we nerd about <laughs> bye, bye nerdlings
Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't use that. I was hoping it'd magically fill <laughs> up. It's Nikki time. <laughs> Ha ha ha.